Carbon buildup on these small outdoor power equipment engines can sometimes be a problem, especially on these two-stroke engines. Uh, it can plug the exhaust port, causing uh, either the engine not to start or uh, you know just creating too much back pressure where it's just the performance is just really lousy. It won't accelerate and there's no power. Um, so as part of a, a preventive uh, maintenance, I'm going to take this exhaust off and just see how bad this engine is. First thing I need to do to get this exhaust off is to remove this plastic uh, protective cover. It's uh, held on by two Allen bolts, four millimeter. Then we got, uh, there's two bolts that hold the muffler on, and then there's this uh, screen, um, this cover that can be removed, and it, there's a screen underneath which we can check. I'm going to remove that first. It's uh, four Phillips head screws. Just hold this on. Oh, and one, one other important thing that I didn't mention is um, before you start tearing this all down, uh, just make sure it's, it's fairly clean so that nothing drops into the exhaust part when you remove the muffler. You can use compressed air to do that if you have it. This gasket and there's a screen here that doesn't look dirty at all now I'm going to remove these two two bolts that hold the muffler on they're also four millimeter Um, the muffler doesn't look bad, but I do see carbon buildup in the exhaust port that's covering like half the port, so that's a definite problem. Hopefully you can see this. Um, in, the, in the exhaust port, you can, in, the, in the background you see that little shiny, that's the piston. Um, there's carbon buildup covering like half the port, so yeah, there's, it's definitely a, a carbon problem buildup on this exhaust port. Um, I think I'm going to rotate, make sure the, you know, the piston is behind the carbon and uh, lightly scrape that off and compressed air and, and try and blow it out. The best way to clean this carbon out is to take the piston and uh, rotate the engine until the piston skirt, the bottom of the piston, is um, covering up the exhaust port. Then take your screwdriver and just scrub the carbon off of the port, but be careful not to scrub too hard or you can slip and um, scar the piston. And then after you got it all scraped off, take your uh, air hose and blow out the port. And that seems to get it pretty much get it out. A lot of these uh, these small small engine mufflers are really hard to clean. Um, it's just better to replace them. They're not very expensive. This one looks pretty clean. Uh, if it was carboned up, you could perhaps lightly tap it with a hammer, try and break the break the carbon free, and then take an air hose and blow it out. Um, you could scrub this with a brush. Um, 
But the problem is it's it's sealed. You know, you can't get inside here and and uh, and do anything with it. It's just I would just replace it if it was um, carboned up on you. But um, this one seems to be pretty clean, so I'll definitely reuse this one. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall the muffler. Um, another important thing I did, uh, this, these bolts were rusted um, and I couldn't really fit the, uh, the Allen wrench into these bolts all the way. It's really important that you clean these out before you uh, start to loosen them or tighten them so that the, the tool fits properly in the bolt. Otherwise you can round out the bolt or um, even damage your tool. Uh, reinstall this safety piece. And that's it. What a difference. Um, it sounds better. It's a little bit louder, a little bit crispier sounding, and um, I can tell it's a slightly more responsive. Uh, accelerates a little bit better, so uh, it was a good thing that I did that. Um, like I said, it's something you should do, especially on these smaller two-stroke engines, is uh, they oftentimes have problems with carbon buildup, and when your exhaust gets with gets carbon, you know, it gets plugged, uh, it creates a lot of back pressure, and it can stop the engine from running or um, uh, the engine just won't accelerate and it's just the power is gone so it's something to keep an eye on on these two-stroke engines um, also the four strokes even carbon build up in the, in the head you should you should periodically clean that out um, even on my four-stroke motorcycle there's a there's a place where you can um, clean the muffler carbon from the um, silencer and also on my two-stroke motorcycle that I've got, um, same same thing. Those are easier to actually easier to clean out because you can pull the whole unit out and then just uh, take a brush and scrape it off. But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.